everyone, I'm Azama Purna and I review fragrances in this channel. Today I'm going to review Velvet Orchid. But before that, please subscribe to my channel and click on the notification bell beside it while I do the intro. I have not made any notes and I'm going to speak from my heart. Because I was spontaneously thinking of it because I'm wearing a top that reminded me of it. So, without further ado, let's go to the review. This is very similar to Black Orchid, but it has some differences as well. This is more floral at the heart. It has rose, jasmine, orange, orange blossom, magnolia, and many other flowers. Um, so this is more feminine sort of fragrance. It also has rum, which the new Black Orchid Parfum has. Uh, and uh, it has honey as well. It's a sort of fragrance that I do not associate myself with but I would happily wear when I want to play that part and that is the beauty of fragrance. You get to wear a fragrance and feel in a certain way and if you don't like it you can wash it off. It's just sort of fantasy to me. So what do I think of it in terms of personalities? I think she's outgoing sort of girl she loves to party she parties a lot and she drinks a lot she is spontaneous she is flirty and sultry that makes me feel like it's kinky but probably it's not that sexy she is sexy in her own way but probably looked out upon by snobs because she is not sophisticated at all and that's all right not everyone has to be sophisticated she has a lot going on actually it feels like it's bombarded with lots of things in the bottle if you uh, think her complexity is interesting and you want to get to know her better maybe you're going to love this one you are probably also going to love her if you like her boldness her in your face sort of personality she is not for everyone definitely a nighttime party fragrance for flirty girls that's all i wanted to share about this fragrance i hope you like this and if you have watched this far please comment below to share your thoughts on this one because as I said, I was not prepared to say anything about it. I just said what I felt like at this very moment. I might change my mind later. I don't know. And like this video if you like it. And don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. See you soon.